Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the 6950 XT once again, but just doing a summary of my live stream because it was a little bit long, where we tested the hash rate or mining performance of this card. Now, this card has a number of things that need to be done, I think, in order to really unlock its full potential. Um, but in my testing and everything, even with modded, the thermals have stayed quite good. For example, if we look at the GPU core temperature, never made it above 60. The memory junction, 76 was the highest. Uh, even the hot spot was 65. Now, the only time I seen the hot spot get really up there was during heavy workloads, you know, like gaming, uh, time spot benchmarks, stuff like that. We've seen it climb up 80 plus in that range. But thermals, it's good. It seems like it has plenty of headroom. It just hasn't been unlocked yet how much will we be able to unlock we'll talk more about that in a moment but the card is lackluster it, it's it's disappointing but it's just a refresh uh i i expect to have better improvements with amd's next generation gpus now the live stream data um or the data that i got off the live stream and my testing is on reddit i posted it in the link of that previous video's description but i will also post it down below uh, where we got Ethereum's hash rate, Ravencoin's Flux, Ergo, Conceal, BitTube, and Firo, plus a few others that I tested out with Awesomeiron just to get some quick data out there, just to make sure you guys see what it is. But I got some pretty charts for us. Basically, this card is either equal to or lesser than the 6900 XT, but why is that? Well, the 18 gigabit per second memory, while it is faster, it has looser timings, and I think that's a big contributor to why this card is underperforming or is kind of lackluster so to speak but i was able to mod it and i post some videos on the channel already about that uh with a 6900 xt bios onto the 6950 xt i have a dual bios card so i'm not concerned i could easily switch between gaming and mining but i was able to get the card back up you know 63.5 mega hash mining ethereum and we did see an improvement with ergo which you'll see here in the chart in just a moment but I believe there's two other things that we need to wait for. One is AMD driver optimizations, and two is kernel optimizations. Because back in the day with the RX, uh, you know, 470, 480, 580, 570, the kernels or mem straps that we would apply ourselves are now being applied through the miners. And I believe as the miner devs have time, they will be able to do that and possibly get a little bit more performance out of this card uh, than what I've been able to. But here's the data. So we have the 6900 XT in blue, this uh, 6950 XT in red, and you can see pretty much the 6950 XT is, is down compared to everything, except for a few benchmarks like Ergo, where it's even, Attorney, where it's even, um, and that's pretty much it, unfortunately. Uh, on the Ethereum side, you know, 62 on the 6, uh, 6900 XT, about 62 to 64, depending on who you talk to, is what the 6800, the 6800 XT and the 6900 XT can do. Uh, but stock this card, the 50 XT, only got about 55 mega hash, maybe 56 if you were lucky. And modded, so not really modded, but flashing an old 6900 XT BIOS onto it got me 63.5. So we could almost get close to where it should have been stock, in my personal opinion. Moving on to Ergo, 110, 110 across the board, but modded, the 50 XT was able to get 127. I did try to keep the power draw roughly the same between tests uh you know or whatever the 6900 xt was running at i try to keep the power draw the same to make it as even as possible but long story short they're basically the same 50 xt underperforms and uh you know the biggest thing for me is the modding of this card you shouldn't have to mod this card i 100 agree lick lobster provided a bios to us um and i tried it because somebody with a red devil was able to get about 69 mega hash on their card however on my card it was not there's other bioses that i can try or v bios that i can try uh but i think i'm gonna chill where i'm at right now with the card working 64 mega hash at least that's better with the more power tool i was able to drop drop the power draw so i think i was pulling like six set point six seven eight millivolts or um 0 0.678 volts and i did drop the power draw quite significantly so the more power tool even though we can't extend its limits we can use it to kind of make it more efficient which is what i did uh but you shouldn't have to b 
be flashing an old BIOS onto a new card just to get to perform better and compute workload. So that's quite disappointing. And I don't believe the gaming performance that Gamers Nexus mentioned, which I believe was 5 to 7%, don't quote me, increase over to 6900 XT translates to compute or mining performance because this is what we got here. So on Ethereum, the 50 XT was 12%, uh, negative 12%. Right, so that's minus performance on uh, Kryptonite underscore GPU conceal Ryo Equilibra. Uh, it's negative 20% in hash rate performance. On Firo, we did see the 50 XT uh, beat the 6900 XT about about 6%. On Ravencoin, we're down 13%. On Flux, we're down 6%. On Ergo, we're even again, not counting the modded BIOS. And then Eternity, uh, we're plus 2%. So while it doesn't equate, you know, the gaming performance doesn't equate to mining performance, which usually in the past you can kind of determine or kind of speculate on the hash rate of a card based upon its gaming performance. In this case, that's not it, right? The 6950 XT um, is not a card one should go out and buy a bunch of to build a rig. Instead, 6800 XT is probably the max that you should go on the AMD side or the 3080 on the NVIDIA side. Uh, depending on your use cases, like a 3090 Ti with 24 gigabytes of memory may come in very handy for an AutoCAD designer, encoder, whatever it may be. Uh, but yeah, this card is unfortunately underwhelming. I'm going to try to do different BIOS to see if I can get extra performance, but I think realistically waiting for AMD driver optimizations and possibly minor devs to update their miners and maybe find a way to apply a certain uh, you know, memstrap timings, whatever it may be, to bring this card to get its full performance even then if we were able to get its full performance i speculate 70 72 mega hash so not too much of a difference especially when there are other cards out there that are cheaper more efficient um and overall you know draw less power because even this card is on a smaller node it still will require a certain amount of power to run similar hash rate to the 6900 xt but we'll have to see Keep an, uh, keep an eye out on everything, Reddit, uh, Twitter, what have you. I'll keep you guys updated as much as possible. I appreciate everybody sharing their data down below. And let me know your thoughts on the 6950 XT. I know a number of you already commented how um, disappointed you are with this particular release. The 6650 XT was also disappointing. I haven't checked out the 6750 XT, uh, but I don't expect much from that considering even the 6950 XT is underperforming as well or it's not as it's not so much underperforming it's just it's a refresh we shouldn't expect much out of it i expect more from amd next generation but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below that's going to do it for today's video please do me a favor on the way out hit the like button don't forget to get subscribed hit notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out links in the description that will support the channel and what we do here and besides that you have yourself a wonderful day take care i'll catch you next one